Okay, I'm using a camera with a very different lens, and I cannot see, usually I have a camera that has like a little pop-out screen, so when I'm sitting in front of it, I can at least see where I am in the frame, and this I cannot. I am blindly trusting technology. What did cavemen do? They must have been riddled with anxiety. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about haters. They can be people that leave negative comments on YouTube. People that treat you unwarrantedly, rudely, in a daily life form thing that's not web videos. What is real life? Overall, just someone that's got a lot of negativity about them that's looking to put someone else down. This is not new. This has been happening forever. As long as there was someone putting themselves out there for public criticism, there was someone in the public criticizing them negatively. And being someone that has made web videos for years and years, I feel like I've developed a thick skin for harsh criticism. <laughs> Here are five things that you can do to handle the haters. Number one, feel bad for them. Putting other people down is just a form of projection. Here's a definition of projection because I don't want to say the incorrect thing and elicit negative comments. It usually comes from someone that's having a really bad time inside themselves wanting someone else to feel that pain. So you can choose to be affected by them or you can choose to feel bad for them. Has anyone ever told you that you're a goddamn idiot and anyone wasting their time watching this bullshit is also a idiot? <laughs> yes, I am affecting you. That was not that. <laughs> Tits are get the f out. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over my own mourning for your internal sadness that feeds your constant need to put others down so that they somehow feel what you unjustly feel unjustly on a daily, if not hourly basis. You are so sad. All I have are tits. Number two, agree. If you can't beat them, join them. Even if you do not agree with what they're saying about you, because chances are it is not correct, agreeing with a bully totally deflates their anger, their need to fight, because all they want is a fight. And if you don't give them that, what do they have left? It's literally like watching someone fight with a pillowcase. You're a f***ing idiot. Yeah. Big time. No, like seriously, you're a f***ing idiot. No, seriously, I, I know. No, seriously, you're a f***ing idiot. Yes! No, oh my god! Just fight with... Jesus Christ! Number three, imagine them in a completely ridiculous way. Everyone always says when you feel nervous public speaking, imagine the audience in their underwear, but that would make me way more nervous. So instead, imagine a bully or a hater in a way that makes you... Um... Lol? You're not funny, you tried too hard, and you're a total f***ing sellout. You're an idiot, and you... What? No, 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 just, shh, just keep talking. What? Number four, imagine them speaking in farts. That's it. You're not funny, you tried too hard, and you're a total f Thank you for your opinion. Number five, kill them with kindness. You're an idiot. Fuck you. You try too hard. You're not funny. I'm proud of you for speaking your mind. Fuck you. What? I appreciate you. No, but sh stop. And your opinions. And just know that I think that you're worth something. Ah, uh, you're killing me with kindness. I'm dying. We're all gonna die someday. Isn't it sad that you wasted your whole life being a terrible shit human being? Oh my god, I'm going back to number one. There you go! There are five ways that you can handle the haters. I hope that this was helpful, and if it wasn't... Yeah, I'm picturing you like that. I don't know. Guys, don't forget that Memory Heart and I are going on a comedy tour of the southeastern-ish part of the United States. Links for tickets are down below. Also, don't forget if you have forgotten, and if you don't know at all, that I wrote a book, <laughs> Grace's Guide, The Art of Pretending to Be a Grown-Up. Please don't uh, miss the opportunity to order yours at gracesguidebook.com. You're not missing an opportunity. Words are just now flooding out of my mouth. Don't forget to subscribe. This is me giving like fingers, but I said subscribe because I'm wired all over the place today. Like the video and subscribe if you want to. It happens. Human beings are not always great human beings.
If you think about that for too long, you will get so sad. Uh, think about Taylor Swift's new album. We're back. 